Hi, Erin Fitz here with Beacon Credit Union. On today's episode of Social 365, we battled the fairway with the players supporting CASA of Central Virginia and Big Brothers Big Sisters in For the Kids Golf Tournament. Check it out. Want to stay in the loop of what's going on in your community? Subscribe now. We teamed up with the players of the For the Kids Golf Tournament presented by Beacon Credit Union and asked them some of life's most important questions. Do mermaids have live babies or lay eggs? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the fish eggs. I'm gonna go with the fish eggs. I had a chance to rethink that one over. I'm gonna go with fish eggs. Definitely, definitely but 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 they're like little like live babies inside the fish eggs. So like they're like this big first. <laughs> okay. And right. then you know they're kind of pressing on the bubble, like you know, like, like let me out. That's a terrifying scene. <laughs> I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. They definitely don't do either oh. because where would either come from? Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Like all this is pinned up down here. Yeah. Right? right. <laughs> so neither. <laughs> they just they just appear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Magically. They're like a little oyster shell. Just okay. opens up and a little baby mermaid pops out. I love it. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's like the stork. There you go. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like that'd be a lot of work even to give birth with that whole contraption, you know, so I'd probably say, you know, shoot out a few eggs. That would probably make the most sense. Do mermaids give birth or lay eggs? Neither. They have a C-section. What is the most fruitless, fruitless talent you have? Me, me, me trying to say. <laughs> I don't say. I don't know. I, I am all. Off, off. Really? Off. <laughs> like I have, I have to try really hard to just, I might come in for, you know, just a little window. Okay. Who is, what can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> I can gleek. You can? Yeah. I'm really? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> so, and not only can I gleek, I'm a gleek teacher. Oh. I taught my son how to gleek. So I can ice skate fairly well, really? but it's not doing me any good. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I can ice skate. So I would that's say cool. I'm not a figure skater. I'm not in the Olympics. I would yeah. say that's pretty worthless to me. What's your most used excuse to avoid meeting someone? Uh, pr <laughs> probably um, my wife's too busy, probably. <laughs> so Good so one. We, so we gotta, we, I gotta do whatever she wants to do. Good question. I normally don't. I gotta talk it over with my wife. I had to check with the wife. Double scheduled. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry about that, but I've double scheduled. I do double schedule things. I actually double scheduled something for today. Oh, no way. <laughs> and I had to back out of it because I forgot about yeah. this. So, Ash, tell me about the Big Brothers Big Sisters. Well, we are a part of a national affiliate, Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, uh, which is the largest and oldest mentoring organization in the country started in 1904 um, in New York City. We've been doing our good work in this community uh, since 1972, celebrate 50 years this year, which is a big milestone for us. Um, but for those that don't know, we're in the business of putting positive caring adult role models in the lives of children who are facing some sort of adversity. Um, we help build a relationship based on encouragement and friendship that puts that child on a better path toward success. Uh, the best thing about our programs is that they work. Our kids are better off academically and socially after having been in the program. To learn more on how to get involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Virginia, including enrollment, volunteering, or through donation, visit their website, bigcva.org.